Hello fellow candle connoisseurs. This is Candace bringing you another review. This time it is for Homeworks 18 ounce four wick candle in the scent under the mistletoe. Excuse the shaky camera, I haven't slept. <laughs> and it's hard to do this holding the phone. Anyway, the scent notes are fresh mistletoe, dark fruits, fur needle, holiday spice. Um, I think I had this candle before, but I can't remember since I've had hundreds of candles. Um, I burned this a few times and the scent is good, but there are a couple of issues. Um, well, first let me get into the scent notes. I don't know what mistletoe is supposed to smell like, but, um, you do get a fruity note, you do get the fur needles, and you do get a spice. So I'm assuming that whatever this mistletoe is supposed to smell like, you're getting that too. Sometimes Homeworks is hit or miss with the scent notes. Sometimes they add a lot of stuff that you only get maybe one or two, but this seems to be on the mark. So you're getting what it says, and it does smell good. But it is a very weak candle. It's about a three. I don't know if I have a bad batch or not, but this is a three in my bedroom. You wouldn't smell it at all in an open concept room. Um, you get nose blind to it really quick. If I go out of the room and come back, um, I can smell it, but I just can't smell it in the room. It, uh, piece of that. I've burned it a couple times. It pulls out bad. It doesn't have high flames. Um, maybe it'll get better the more I've burned it because I've only burned it a couple of times, but I burned it for several hours. Um, so hopefully it does better later. Like I said, the flames are not good. It doesn't. Um, it takes a while to pull out and it gets there. You can see that there's no issues. It did eventually pull out, but the flames are very low. So that could be uh, part of the performance issue as well. I might um, have to take out some of the wax using paper towel and see if that helps. But even if it does get a bit stronger, I don't see it getting much stronger. It's very weak and it's sad because it's a very good smelling candle. It really um, hits the mark with the holiday uh, you know, mood. Um, it's something you would enjoy from here on through New Year's. It's got like a little sparkly note to it. It's sweet, it's not cloying, and you get that fur and it just screams holiday. So, um, but the fur is not overwhelming. It's not like a real strong tree scent. You're getting more of that fruit and spice, but you do get a hint of the fur. But it's a lovely candle. I just wish that the strength and throw were better, and I wish that the flames were better. But like I said, I'm going to use a paper towel to get some of the wax out and see if that performance is better. If I do end up seeing a big significant improvement with this candle, I will do a follow-up video, but I highly doubt that it really improves much. But anyway, um, for the people that don't like really strong scents, you know, if you want something in your powder room, this might do pretty good in the powder room. Um, you want something when guests come over and just kind of uh, give them the holidays feel when they go into the powder room. I think this would be great for that, but definitely not for open concept area, and it's not even good in my bedroom. So that's it, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, check out my past and upcoming videos. I'm having problems with Bath and Body Works. I did a video about that. <coughs> Excuse me. PayPal doesn't seem to be working and I missed out on two great sales. So I'm not messing with Bath and Body Works for a while, but I have so many of their candles. I will still um, continue to do reviews on those. Um, and I have some upcoming homework videos to do. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are.